Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Now, we are on 953 subscribers, which is absolutely incredible. If you could, go down there, hit subscribe, and we wanna be hitting 1,000 by the end of February. Now, today's video, it is going to be about the minis and the interior. I've done the top exterior mods, the link will be up there. Um, I've also touched on other bits to do with the interior, but I've never suggested to you guys watching the video what to do. So we're gonna do this video and I'm gonna tell you the top mods for the inside of your Mini, JCW, Cooper S, Cooper, whatever you've got, it might interest you. So the first interior mod for this car is the steering wheel. On your uh, JCW, Cooper S, whatever you've got, you can fit this steering wheel relatively easy. It's a genuine mini part as well. Um, this one's flat bottom. The normal one you get, it's a leather one. It's rounded at the bottom. So obviously this one being flat, it's a bit more of a sportier look. You've also got a carbon fiber insert here. So that's another little pro, We're alongside with the red stitching and the dash at the top here. Obviously, it's also a bit more girthier. Oi, oi. And uh, it's also, um, you've really put me off there, who said that? <laughs> All right, we're gonna go on to mod number two. Mod number two is gonna be the carbon fiber um, pro knob. And we can say mod number three is gonna be the handbrake. So with this, you can get a suede. Uh, obviously, Jack's bought this one. This is a nice one. You get the red stitching. Mine, leather, not so nice. Um, and obviously, you've got the carbon fiber with a red ring around there. And then you've got a red ring on this one with the carbon fiber as well. Both mini genuine parts. They're not AliExpress, none of that. This is proper stuff in here. So with those two, I think that adds to the sportiness. And also, you've got the red stitching with a suede around the handbrake cover. We're gonna go straight on to mod number four big one being the seats. Now the seats on this car, between these three cars, Nathaniel's got semi-leather, semi-cloth. My one over there, I've got full cloth, Recaro all the way up above your shoulders, so you've got a bit of bolstering going on. And then these ones are the leather, what, what's the spec of this one? What's the spec of this? He's just fucking turned it around when I'm sitting here. All right, so. I'm trying to hide. All right, but anyway, these seats, uh, these are leather ones, so these aren't as sportier, but my ones, I'd say, are sportier out of the three. Or you can go straight in and get aftermarket seats, which are gonna be the nuts. Now, I don't know anybody who's actually got custom seats in their mini JCW or Cooper S or whatever. Um, if you do, then ping me a message because it'd be interesting to know what you've got. You can also, on this car, you can get custom floor mats. Now, I wouldn't really call that a mod as such, but we're gonna put it in there as a mod anyway because for some reason, they're like hotcakes. So the JCW Pro ones, they're like ridiculous price. They're like 160 pounds just for a couple of floor mats, which to be honest, that's quite extortionate. Um, you can get a pattern on the inside there. They're like 160 pounds, as I say, ridiculous price for a car mod, but it gives you an insight on something else you can get to make your Mini a little bit more quirkier. Number seven, you've got the passenger display up here. You can get a proper passenger display uh, there's a company out there that do it. I'll put a link in the description. Now that one's quite quirky because it's similar to what the Ferrari has, um, even though this is just a mini JCW, but you can get the full rev range over there. You can get all your speed so the passenger can have their own display because they want to see how fast you're going. If you're going around a track, I don't know, or the rev range. Um, you can also have all your readings on there, the oil temp, boost gauge, you know, everything on there, all the readings. Mod number eight, is something that I've done in a previous video, so the link will be right there, is wrapping the interior with some suede. Now, Jack's car comes with a nice, normal gloss black. Mine, however, it didn't come with that. It comes with like a, a washed out gray, sort of textured plastic. I wasn't really too much of a fan. I wanted to make it a little bit different during lockdown last year. So I've wrapped the interior bits. So I've wrapped this bit here. I've wrapped the door cards, which are down there. And then obviously I've wrapped the bit behind the gauges here. And then that then leads me on comfortably to mod number eight, which you can get, which I've got on mine, as we all know, is the boost gauges. Now you don't see many of them about, and the boost gauges, well, there's something different to have on your car. The boost gauges can read uh, your lap time, they can read your speed, um, going around the team, 
going around the track, so your timings for that. You can also have your boost gauge on there and your oil pressure. It's also very handy to have. And it does come at quite a hefty cost. I think you can get it retrofitted after. However, you're gonna be looking at over a grand to get it fitted because they're like 800 pound or something ridiculous to buy and fit. It's more of like a, this is more of an uh, OEM plus mod really because you can upgrade your speakers. Jack's got a Harman Kardon but you can actually fit them to your own car if you want to make them a bit better. There's a company called Bav Sounds. They do custom speakers. Now you can change the two, uh, I think these are six inch speakers down here. I think they are. Um, you can change those two. There's someone on YouTube that's done that as well. Nice little touch and that comfortably brings us to an end with mod number 10. So thanks for watching today's video guys. Hope you liked it, short and sweet um, and hopefully it was informative and helped you out. And then we're also going to be bringing out some more videos and giving you guys some more interesting things to do with your minis, um, John Cooper works, Cooper S's, anything like that. So please subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.